So hey class, um, can't believe it's already half of the semester and we are officially done with residential design. So we are leaving that behind for now and we will proceed to uh, designing retail spaces. So I think you are all familiar with designing uh, retail spaces. So with that, let's all tackle uh, what retail design is. Okay. So first thing I would like you to do is to check your syllabus check the link um, so in the syllabus you will find the guide questions for our activity so we have two activities a teaching learning activity so we will do this one for two weeks so for the first week we will be tackling um, designing a retail space and for the second week we will be design uh, tackling creating a visual uh, merchandising scheme for the retail space that we are going to design for okay so uh, let's go first to week number one, which are, we are going to do uh, this week. So by the way, our activities are group activity. So uh, what I mean by that is that it will be a group effort. Uh, you will discuss amongst yourselves uh, who will do uh, which um, uh, objective. Uh, so it's up to you to divide the task and then the group of uh, the, the, the grade will be uh, the grade of the group so uh, by the way only one person will submit the activity on canvas so I repeat only one person will submit on canvas so automatically canvas will consider that as the effort of the group okay so if you have any questions please let me know by uh, commenting okay so for the first uh, we'll be tackling uh, retail space okay so I guess we are all familiar with what retail space is. We've been to malls. I'm sure that you have been to a store. Um, probably pre, uh, pre pandemic or pre COVID. So um, I'm sure you are somehow familiar with how it looks like. But to guide you with uh, the, the designing um, a retail store, I want you to first explain in summary how uh, retail spaces came to be, the history based on the references. So again, where can you find the references? The references can be found in my website, okay? So I suggested there are references, a reference and then the page number for of which you, uh, you can find the answer to that one. And then number two is I want you to articulate uh, the importance of retail facilities to how important interior design is. Okay, so discuss the role of the ro of interior design in uh, retail. Okay, and then um, number three, I want you to discuss with your group. Um, okay, uh, excuse me. So number three, I want you to discuss with your group. Uh, the different types of uh, retail spaces. So, of course, there's more than one uh, retail space, okay? And then uh, please check out the, the resource again. I provided it in the objectives, okay? Um, and then number four is I want you to review the ergonomic and furniture fixture and equipment standards for retail facilities. So. Say, for example, what is the standard or most likely uh, the su suggested height for um, shelving for a cashier a counter or a, a display a nook probably. So again, you'll find that uh, in my um, in the notes. And then I want you to jot down the requirements for mechanical and lighting systems. So uh, we have to know and understand it. A retail space uh, sometimes more complicated than a residential space because the requirements are are stricter. Uh, say for example, uh, uh, fire protection. Uh, if you've noticed, if, if you've been to malls, uh, there are smoke detectors. Um, there are fire uh, sprinklers involved. Okay, and then there's uh, more security. Okay, with the uh, security platforms that are located on either sides of the entrance. Okay, and then uh, lastly, I want you to search images of retail design that show uh, the best practices. So 
Just look for pictures that best exemplify the discussion that you just had. So you will submit this one through a paper that should be an APA style. Okay, and then I want you to cite the source you know, as usual. You cite the source in APA style. And then uh, before you submit it to me on Canvas, I want you to submit it to turn it in. Um, if you're not familiar with what Turnitin is, it is also located on my website on under general references. So in Turnitin, we will be able to identify um, the sources, uh, the similarity index if you did commit some um, plagiarism. Um, so the, the similarity index is 15% uh, okay, for uh, <laughs> for uh, the turn it in okay so if you have any questions uh, by the way you use your usc email address for the turn it in registration okay so again everything it, everything is on my website you just check uh, the website um, how to compose apa style to format your paper apa style so if you're having difficulty paraphrasing to conform to turn it in it is also in my website so as much as possible you won't have any difficulty finding all the resources everything is on my website okay and then um, I don't want just you to read the resources I also want you to watch the videos the videos are uh, curated by me um, so these videos I find very helpful for you, especially for a soft, uh, for software more level. Um, so please watch the videos. It's all about retail design, all about uh, uh, lighting for retail design, um, the different trends right now in retail design. So everything is there. Everything that you need to know about retail design is there. So um, these videos I find very helpful. That um, I, I guess you should watch them before you do the assignment. So again, the assignment is a group activity and only one person will submit. Okay, if you have any questions, please um, let me know. Okay, so let's do the assignment in retail design first before we dissect everything. And then next week, we do the visual merchandising. Okay, so you'll learn more about visual merchandising next week. Okay, so goodbye and I'll see you soon.